Welcome back design students. Let's create a stem for this apple. So I want to start in the top viewport. So I'm going to expand my viewports by using Alt W and then I'm going to expand the top viewport by using Alt W and we need a cylinder. So let's go to the create tab, go to geometry and select cylinder. And we need a cylinder that's going to be pretty small and it doesn't matter how tall it is yet, just click and drag a little bit and then we're going to go to the Modify tab and switch to the front viewport and then we're going to take that cylinder and move it up so that we can see it and then I'm going to switch to the perspective viewport by pushing P on the keyboard and I'm going to zoom in on it by pushing Z and we know it needs to come from this little part of the apple here I want to make sure it's exactly where it's supposed to be and pull it out of the top a little bit more. I'm just going to adjust the height and I need to turn edged faces back on. Alright, so let's convert this to an editable poly and go to polygon mode and I want to start by deleting this top polygon and then I want to delete the bottom polygon, but I can't see it, so I'm going to go to wireframe so that I can get down there and see it and delete it. So I'm going to turn off wireframe override and let's begin to model this thing. Now we know that it needs to flare out in the top, so I'm going to go to vertex mode and I'm going to grab these top vertices and use my scale tool to flare it out. And then we know it needs to curve a little bit more than that, so maybe we'll flare it like that. And I'm using all axes. I'm in the exact middle here. Then maybe this one I'll pull down a little bit. And then I'm going to go to wireframe now so I can see a little better. I'm going to grab this one and pull it in a little bit like so. So we have something that looks like that. Then I'm going to switch back, turn off wireframe, and I'm going to go to the front viewport by pushing F on my keyboard because I need to model this. I need to pull this side up and I want to make sure that I do it in a straight viewport. So I'm going to click this vertex here and I'm going to go to soft selection and I'll try this first see how well this works. This may not work like I want. Yeah, that works just fine. I'm going to go back to the perspective view, or I'm, I'm sorry, back to the front view. I turned it a little bit, so I'm going to hit F again. And I think I need to go to the perspective view now because I want to exit soft selection. And I think I'm going to try to just pull a couple of these up give it just a little bit of randomness, a little jaggedness. Okay, now we need to seal this top again. So let's go to border mode and click on the top edge and that just selects that whole open border. Then I'm going to get the scale tool and this is very important to hold down shift, get right in the center of the scale tool and scale that in. You can see that gives us sort of a nice little stem. Then we're going to get the Move tool, hold down Shift, and pull that down. And then we're going to get the Scale tool, hold down Shift, and pull that in. And then hold down, let go, and then hold down Shift one more time and pull it in. And then we're going to go up here to our Modeling ribbon and select Collapse. And then we have a nice stem. And we are going to have to smooth this, so let's go down in our command panel and find that ISO line display setting here, or the use NERMS, and you can see what happens to it. It kind of collapses a little bit. And um, I'm going to turn off the cage. And I think that looks just fine. Okay, so the final thing we need to do here is um, bend this stem a little bit. So we're going to uh, go to the top level and we can do that by either clicking here and turning that off or we can just click here 
So make sure you're at the top level and we're going to add a bend modifier. And we're going to bend our stem a little bit. And we have now our apple. Looks pretty good. And when we come back in the next video, we're going to put materials on it. And then we will be done actually modeling the apple. And I'll see you then.